Yes, now I'm on uh, Rongen Island. Rongen. One of those very, very famous salmon pools. One of the most sal famous salmon pools in the world, I think. Rongen Island on the Bolstar River. Also, Norway. This is Big Fish River. I'm changing taco and uh, I fished a couple of days now. I caught a few good fish actually. And my LXI 39, 10, 11 is, is what I've been using most. And my 14, 8 reaction too. I have a float to 4 on this. It's a fast river. And uh, I want my fly maybe one, one and a half meter down. Medium speed here now. We're on 12 degrees. Perfect. Um, this is uh, for me ideal. I'll leave the camera here and I'll fish this and maybe we'll see if we get into one of those big fish. This is a pool of many 50 and 60 and 70 pounders people. Think about that. 70 pounds. When you start fishing a pool like this, uh, I think you very often start too far down. It's very easy to look at the deeper part and where you have maybe some fish showing and uh, where the resident fish are and you just start fishing on those. The running fish, they can stop very high up in the fast water. They can be under the waves or they can more likely be just on the edge between the fast and slow water. I fish this kind of place with a short line which makes full control a lot easier. If you fish it with a long line this will leave you with no control whatsoever. It will be the current that will decide how you're flying on the fish, not you. Two centimeters, which means I don't think it's 15 kilos. Okay, good fish. Walk down here on the on the wrong side and fish my float intermediate sink too and a smaller fly than we fished before on my reaction uh, FRS 14.8. With that, I cover even this big river. And uh, beautiful, don't you think? Nice female. Uh, that wants to go now. Uh, normally it's better to leave them a little longer than find a good place for it. Good strong fish and the good thing is it did our couple of good runs upstream. And that saved me from running these rapids. Now it really wants to go. Say goodbye. Go and spawn. Hopefully we'll... Good, good rest there. Hopefully the fjord will be 
free of sea lice, so this smolts can go to sea and come back. Slowly leaving us. We're in Ronga Holland on the Hokanoli fishing down in what I think should be the best part of this pool. I know who can fish this is 59 Alexi. His favorite rod. And uh, I don't know what line he's on, but I know he's on triple D's and he do them fairly long. I uh, like it a little bit more than 13 meters. On the big river you're casting can dramatically limit your chances. You need to be able to present your fly to the river's different lies, some close in, some further out. In all casting one of the basic rules and most important things is to do it without splashing, scaring the fish. Remember a spooked salmon might not leave its lie, but it will never take your fly. Sinking lines are different to cast than floaters and intermediates. They are not as delicate when they land on the water, and maybe they are a little bit trickier to handle. The thinner diameter of the sinking line makes it travel faster in the air giving the cast a totally different timing. Big river tactics can be to fish on top, but also like here, to fish the middle sections. This tail is fairly shallow. To choose the right tactics is important. Speed and depth is like Jin and Jiang. Look at how I have to put my fly quite downstream and start retrieving before the drift is really over. If like here my line is a bit too fast, it's no use to just keep on going, losing a lot of good drift. It's better to be flexible. To change tactics is the key to fish your fly in the right way. I always rig two rods, that way the change is fast and simple. The line with the floating belly makes it possible to create the downstream belly that will fish my fly a lot faster. And that way I also get a longer drift. To create as much good drift as possible is the way to more takes.
and he really wants to go. Go and play with his mates. And I think we'll let it go. That's a good feeling. The floating belly on this float intermediate sink 2 triple D make the cast compared to the sinking line a bit slower. But as you can see, it flies beautiful. Casting is all about timing. Lift. Come around, set the tip of the line, load, stop, and let it go. It's quite simple actually. Sometimes with a deep sinking line, or if your lift is too short and not good enough, or maybe if you just need a bit more control, a false cast can do the trick for you. I use this a lot. It gives me perfection in control of angle and total presentation. Look at this now. Lift. Come around, set it a bit low, load the rod, stop high, pull back before it lands, set it a bit higher, pull your lower hand, stop high and let it go. It looks really fancy and maybe a bit tricky, but it's not. It's all about timing. The smooth glittering glide of the big river is demanding, but also one of the most exciting places to fish. It's from here the big fish will try to empty your reel.